Hello, welcome to this Synity data replication demo showing how to set up, change data capture from Oracle to SQL Server. All transactions from Oracle tables are captured and processed to a SQL Server database in real time. Let's take a look at the system architecture. Synity data replication must be installed on a Microsoft Windows Server operating system. This could be on-premise or in the cloud, or you can also install Synity data replication on the same system where the source or target database is running. If you plan to install in a production environment or you want to control workload on your database servers, we highly recommend that you use a third system just for change data capture operations. This will optimize the replication process performance and any administration tasks. The requirements for Synity data replication are very simple. The Windows system must have the latest version of the .NET framework. And for change data capture with Oracle databases, you have to install the Oracle client with the .NET provider on the system where Synity data replication is running. Lastly, we recommend creating database users specifically for the replication process on both the source and target databases. Let's start with the connection to our Oracle database. To set up this connection, I'll add the .NET provider DLL installed with the Oracle client. This file is called Oracle Data Access DLL and is usually located in this folder. I'm entering the IP address including the database instance and also the user and the password. The user should have DBA privileges, but if you want to know the specific permissions, you can research this information in our user guide or on our support portal. Now, select the schemas and the tables for this demo. Synity Data Replication allows you to select multiple tables or a complete schema. If you miss tables at this stage, no problem. They can be included later, even when the replication process is running. The next step is to set the Oracle Transactional Options. You have three methods to capture transactions. The first one is reading the log directly. This option is ideal for its simple configuration and speed when replicating a few tables. The second option is the log server agent, which allows you to manage a large number of replications through a single connection to the Oracle database. Finally, there is the triggers option, generally used when the access to Oracle logs is technically impossible. For this demo, I'll use the option to read the log directly. The connection to the Oracle database is complete. In fact, here you can see the table to verify that it has some data. Now I'll continue with the configuration of the target connection, in this case Microsoft SQL Server. I'll enter the IP address, username and password. A .NET provider path isn't necessary because this connection is included in the .NET framework. I'm not selecting a destination table as I'll ask Synity Data Replication to create it for me. I'll use the table creation wizard to accelerate the configuration process. This wizard creates the tables in the target database respecting the source structure such as data types, number of fields and their length. Once the target table is created, I can configure the type of replication for this project. Synity Data Replication offers three types of data replication. The first is a refresh, which allows powerful data uploads in bulk mode, ideal for migration projects or initial uploads to the cloud or big data systems. The second replication mode is mirroring or change data capture which captures only the changes generated in the source database and moves these in fractions of a second to the target database. 
In addition, Synergy Data Replication allows bi-directional synchronization to keep the source and target database changes perfectly synchronized on both sides, with the ability to manage possible errors and notify the user in real time. Synergy Data Replication has no restrictions regarding the number of source and target databases to be replicated. I need to set the time interval for reading the Oracle logs and any mapping rules for tables during the change data capture process, including mapping to expressions or customizing mapping using scripts. And with this, the configuration process is complete. The last step is to run the replication agent, which can be started either as an application or as a service. If configured as a service, the agent starts automatically in the event of an operating system restart. As the table created in SQL Server is empty, the first action is to load the data from the source table in Oracle through a batch process. Keep in mind that the time it takes for this initial refresh will depend on a number of factors, such as table sizes, data types, or connection speed between source and target. Once the initial refresh is done, Synergy Data Replication runs change data capture operations. To verify that this is working correctly, I'll use the SQL Query feature in the Management Center to execute three typical SQL operations on the Oracle database, an insert, an update, and a delete. You can use the Replication Monitor to visualize the change data capture process. If there are errors in the process, they can be detected in this same window. As you can see, these three operations were processed successfully. So you can see that setting up change data capture between a source and target database is a short, simple process with Synergy Data Replication. Check out the webpage at www.synity.com, Synergy Data Replication, for a full list of supported sources and targets.